What's up guys, welcome to Unsanctioned Fabrication. I got a new project for you today. We're gonna make this hammer, so let's get going. So here it goes. I got a ton of bags that I wanted to try to make the mallet out of. Now, everybody's using these, uh, the number two HDPE uh, milk jugs, but I wanna use plastic bags. Nobody's really used plastic bags, but all of these are actually labeled HDPE. So same exact thing. So keep an eye out for that. I mean, now this is a broken sledgehammer handle. It has a natural taper going down the end of the handle, which I'm actually going to reverse this and use this as a top. A little more slip resistance that way. I don't have to actually uh, put any uh, wedges in there or anything like that. Toaster oven's now preheated to 350 degrees. by just starting twisting these and loading them into the pan. Get one layer melted down first and then we'll try it again. Well, those, while that's cooking, let's start chopping up some milk jugs. Wow, well, check out how much that shrunk. Now the problem is it's going to go up and touch the burner possibly. Once it does that, it's going to start smoking a little bit. So guys, be careful if you're doing this in home. But yeah, because the bag is so thin, it's actually melting pretty quickly and heating up quickly enough. All right, guys, so I ran out of bags. Actually, I just found one last one. So I got my uh, oven cranked up all the way like 450. It's melting it quick enough, but uh, it's still taking a long time. But I now have it where the plastic's very malleable. It's very, ooh, that's hot. But yeah, it's a lot softer now. So I highly doubt that this thing's an accurate thermostat or whatever you want to call it. Next, I'm gonna start loading in chips. So guys, this is the last of it. I put in six milk jugs and I also put in about two monstrous bags of stuffed grocery bags in this thing. It's got it up to level here, but it's still gonna compress down once it fully melts. This is the mold I'm gonna press my plastic into right here. So I actually am gonna test a new technique of ex extracting the hot plastic from the pan, but in order to do that, I have to cool the pan to get it to separate. So I'm gonna run this thing outside. We're gonna cool that pan really fast in some snow. I'm gonna pop it out. I might throw it back in here just to warm it up for a second, just to make sure I could handle it. I'm gonna stuff it in here. I'm going to stab it with the handle and then we're going to press it down into shape with bricks. Alright guys, there it is. Let's go warm it back up again so I can mold it. Overall, it looks pretty cool. I offset where the handle's going. I'm not going dead center. I'm actually going to taper this down to a finer point and I'm actually going to do some more cutting and uh, tapering after it's made, but I'm going to try to use the mold to start it there. Obviously you saw that where I was able to handle this and you know, basically it was like putty right now, but let's get at it. Take a nice shape. I'm actually retightening right now just to get a little better compression now that I got my weight on it. Start this thing should actually cool down pretty darn fast. 
So I guess ultimately this only works when you have a ton of bricks. <laughs> go inside, it's late. I'm gonna go watch some TV. We'll check it out tomorrow. Guys, so it's the next day, let's unbury this thing. <laughs> Holy cow. Got myself a misshapen mallet, I'll say that. Looks like something Bam Bam would have. <laughs> All right, let's get the sand in this thing. So here's the conclusion guys. We finished off our hammer, looks good. Came out pretty nice. I'd have to say is, uh, the marbling is actually pretty interesting yeah, the way it turned out. So I could still probably drive a screw in here just to help further secure it. I don't know about that one. So far, I, this is a tapered handle so it is actually comes up as a wedge. I don't think that's fully necessary. But you know what guys? If you guys got yourself some spare time and lots of milk jugs, I say go for it. It was pretty cool and it was actually pretty fun. Later.